Is too much of a good thing bad? With over 70 years of audio history, Klipsch has once again raised the bar with their third generation of their award-winning Reference Premiere line, the Reference Premiere 2. This latest edition seeks to deliver better sound for home theater or stereo listening with less distortion through several key audio enhancements, evolved engineering, and dramatic cosmetic details. There are now 11 new models in the Reference Premiere 2 line, featuring four towers, two bookshelves, three center channels, and two surround models. The new Reference Premiere 2 models share a similar design philosophy to the models that they are replacing, and they feature premium materials with beautiful designs. Clips kept the popular cabinet size for each of the models, however they did improve their overall performance. Now each model is available in two furniture grade wood finishes, ebony and walnut. The upgraded sleek modern tower cabinet designs include enhanced cabinet bracing with aluminum binding posts, cast aluminum feet, and discrete Dolby Atmos connections that allow for easy and refined elevation speaker integration. True to historic Klipsch fashion, all models feature signature Klipsch copper trim rings which accentuate the tweeter and woofer. In addition to the copper beauty, a new horn size delivers more efficient high-end frequencies. As a nice touch, each speaker also has a magnetic removable black grill. A lot of speakers in this category go naked, so it's convenient to be able to cover up the drivers for a more discreet look when you want. However, being audio geeks, we kind of like the look of the grill off. The big Tractix horn and woofer give these speakers the unique Klipsch look. We have to say, build quality is really great on the new Reference Premiere line. Sure, you don't get the hand rub match wood veneers of the Heritage series, but the RP line costs about 25% of what the mid-level Heritage models sell for. Numerous acoustic and aesthetic upgrades are featured in the new RP2 line, and it's full of technology based on the four pillars of Klipsch sound. Now, at Audio Advice, we love companies who push the state of the art, but also make more affordable products. Pushing the limits allows you to learn, which results in a trickle down effect where the tech from your highest end products makes it way down into your more affordable products. This is the case with the RP2 speakers and all of the goodies inside that have caused so many people to fall in love with the Reference Premiere line. Klipsch takes full advantage of one pillar, controlled directivity, in their tweeter design on the RP2 models. You might wonder, why is this even important? Well, if you listen to speakers outside with no walls and on a 10-foot stand where there was no way for the sound to bounce around before reaching your ears, it wouldn't really be important. But in the real world, in a normal room, sound bounces all over the place. With the horn technology that Clips features in this line, you can control the dispersion pattern of the high frequencies much, much easier. But it is a delicate balance. If you make it too directional, you have to put your head in just one spot to be able to hear all the highs, but if you make it too wide, you get the time arrival delays in the smearing of the sound. So Clips has placed a one inch titanium diaphragm tweeter that has a special acoustic lens mounted in front of it. It is then recessed in the Clips Tractix horn, which is larger in the RP2 series, helping to control the dispersion. The tweeter housing and magnet structure use venting technology to re reduce any standing waves behind the tweeter. The titanium diaphragm is housed in a way that forces it to have a pistonic motion, which Clips first started using in their more expensive speakers called the Linear Travel Suspension. With titanium being super light and able to move like a piston, distortion is much lower than many tweeters, checking off another pillar of one of the four pillars, which is low distortion. The ceramic woofers used are rigid and stiff, an ideal woofer material for low distortion. Clips has patented this technology and you'll find it in several of their models. The material uses multiple layers of metal on the cone, which not only make it very stiff to avoid breakup, but the combination of materials pushes the natural breakup point of the driver far beyond the frequency range that it operates in. This allows the woofer to play much, much louder with less breakup. Metallic woofers aren't new to the Klipsch RP2 speakers, but they have made significant advancements to the motor and technology behind the cones. To help minimize cabinet resonance, Klipsch uses a technique we've seen in a lot more expensive speakers. The front of the cabinet is not wood, but a very dense and inert composite material. The drivers are mounted to this super dead material, helping greatly reduce cabinet resonance. 
When you spin the speaker around, you look at the rear, you'll see the patented Tractix port Klipsch continues to develop and improve upon. With each speaker model, they design the port to reduce turbulence and to perfectly match the cabinet's acoustic characteristics. When you couple the efficient Ceramitalic woofer with this port and the highly efficient horn tweeter design, you check off the last of the four Klipsch pillars, which is high efficiency. Live music has huge swings in volume between the loudest peaks and the softest passages. And when a symphony orchestra or your favorite band swells to a full crescendo, the feeling of power you sense is what makes live music so much fun. It takes a highly efficient speaker to be able to reproduce those wide swings in volume and to be able to portray that big crescendo like you're really there. Now, let's look at each of the models in the new lineup. There are four floor standing models in the RB2 lineup. The RP8060 FA2, the RP8000 F2, the RP6000 F2, and the RP5000 F2. Each of the new models features by wiring and by amping capabilities, allowing you more flexibility with how you want to set them up. To learn more about by wiring and by amping, and if you should do it with your system, check out the video we made that we'll link below. Additional bracing and a new divided cabinet help minimize resonance and vibrations in the speaker. Each model include a black magnetic grill for a sleek, clean look and cast aluminum feet to reduce the floor surface contact area for enhanced detail. The redesigned RP8060 FA2 is the flagship tower speaker in the RP2 lineup and the only model to feature a 6-inch two-way built-in up-firing speaker for immersive Dolby Atmos experience. A signature feature on the Reference Premier Series speakers, the dual 8-inch main channel and 6.5-inch height channel Ceramitallic woofers have been also upgraded for absolutely flawless sound reproduction, minimum distortion, and maximum efficiency. The redesigned woofer will deliver the power, detail, and emotion that you expect from a Klipsch Reference Premier speaker. The remaining floor standing models, the RP8000 F2, the RP6000 F2, and the RP5000 F2 are all Dolby Atmos compatible and include height channel output jacks at the top of the speaker. We love this feature because you don't have to drape the speaker wire down the back of your tower from your height modules. It helps your speaker maintain that sleek, minimal look. Using the same cutting edge technology as their floor standing counterparts, the Klipsch RP600M2 and RP500M2 bookshelf speakers replace the earlier models and deliver incredible sound for any size space. Both models feature a new cork pad on the bottom of the speaker that replaces the previous generation's rubber bumpers for increased security on a stand or table. The RP600M2 is the top bookshelf model in the Reference Premier 2 series and is a modestly sized bookshelf speaker in the standard finishes. If you start searching, you'll find this speaker's price range is extremely popular. You'll find enough different models from brands all over the world to make your head spin. What is really interesting about the RP600M2 is not the fact that it has the classic Klipsch sound, but it's also appealing to audiophiles who might have snubbed their nose at some of the Klipsch expressions like rattle the windows and wake your neighbors. Now with the center channel handling the dialogue and center channel effects in the movie scene, it is one of the most critical speakers in your home theater system. The RP2 series includes three centers to choose from, the RP504C2, the RP500C2, and the RP404C2. The RP504C2 is the flagship center channel speaker in the new RP2 lineup, featuring updated tweeter and better driver motors. The one inch linear travel suspension tweeter includes a vented housing that reduces standing waves that tend to compromise sound quality, minimizing distortion and delivering enhanced, detailed performance. The RP504C2 and RP500C2 are both rear ported and will probably perform best when positioned on top of a media cabinet or speaker stand, while the RP404C2 is a sealed box design allowing easy placement within a cabinet. There are also two great surround sound speaker options available in the Reference Premier 2 line, both available with multiple positioning options. Now Klipsch created the RP502S2 as a specialty application speaker that could be used to solve situations where you have surround in between two rows or other unique situations like that. If you're not sure if this type of speaker is right for you versus a straight firing surround, please just give us a call or chat with us at audioadvice.com and we can help you easily figure that out for yourself. The RP500SA2 can be used as an up-firing immersive speaker for Dolby Atmos, a height speaker or a rear surround speaker, all with the flip of a switch, allowing sound to come alive from all directions, including overhead. Add to any monitor or tower speaker to use as surround speakers for a hemisphere of rich, 
detailed sound. They feature a switchable crossover that changes between Dolby Atmos and Dolby Surround modes for optimized performance in any configuration. With the reference premiere line incorporating the newly designed Tractix horn technology, linear travel suspension, titanium tweeter, and Klipsch's own copper serif metallic woofers into this premium series, our stance is if you own a previous version of the reference premiere speakers and are ready for an upgrade, the reference premiere 2s will definitely satisfy your cravings. Whether you're looking to beef up that surround sound system by integrating a set of the RP8060 FAs with built-in Dolby Atmos height modules, or the best-selling RP600M2 for the office or living room space, Klipsch's reference premiere line can satisfy your cravings for a big dynamic audio experience. This versatile line can serve many roles, and no matter what they're doing, the detailed sound is guaranteed to be delivered. Now, thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a like and be sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss out on any of our latest content. If you're designing your own home theater or media room, you can also check out our free 3D home theater design tool on our website where you can design everything from your screen size, seating locations, and speaker placements. We also have how-to guides, an inspiration gallery, and everything home theater related at audioadvice.com. You can also chat with one of our experts or just give us a call if you have any additional questions and we'd be happy to help. I look forward to chatting with you in the comments and we'll see you next time.